Hey everybody, this is Josh Korb. Today I'm going to talk to you about using the Canvas smartphone app. Uh, Canvas is our learning management system here at Eastern York. Uh, we're going to talk about how we can get to the Eastern York Canvas page and use the app and set everything up today. So let's go ahead, let's figure it out, and let's get started. So you should download the Canvas app, and this Canvas app is available in the Android and iOS Marketplace apps. Uh, so you can make sure that you download it to your smartphone. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Canvas app. It's going to bring up a Canvas login, and we're going to have to search for Eastern York. So we're going to try and find our school. So we're going to type in Eastern York School District, and it should pop up. Here it is, Eastern York School District, and it comes up with eysd.instructure.com. That is our subdomain of the instructor, and it'll actually bring up that we have to sign in with our Google account which is exactly what we want to do because everything is, is linked back to our Google account. Our kids, our students will do the same exact thing. So we're going to sign in right here. Okay, I typed in my username. So remember, it is at eastonyork.net. So whatever your student ID number is or whatever your, your um Name is, it's the first letter, last name for teachers, and it's also just the student ID number at eastonyork.net for our email. Um, next, we're gonna type in our password. We're gonna sign in. And sign us into the account. Okay, now I have two-step authentication set up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click yes. Yes, I'm signing in. Um, I just unlocked. All right, now we have to authorize for the account. I'm going to remember authorization if I'm going to use this, de this, this device over and over again. Otherwise, you could just leave it unchecked, and that just means you have to sign in the same way every single time. So I'm going to authorize. Okay, and it's going to walk you through sort of a quick tutorial to use the course. So we have easily navigate your courses. So along the left-hand side, it's going to come up similar to what you do in your uh, Google account, how you can come up with your different... Uh, uh, Gmail accounts or different emails, whatever. Um, you can just access your different accounts by swiping to the right off the left-hand side of your screen. So we're going to go, we'll just, we'll just browse through here real quick. We can switch between accounts to so say that you have uh, multiple instructor accounts. You can easily do that. Um, we can uh, message our teachers or message the students. We can set up, this is called communication in, uh, in Canvas. And then you can uh, check out all of the different assignments that are upcoming, uh, upcoming assignments of up, upcoming calendar dates, due dates, everything is gonna be right there on your device. Let's go ahead and get started. So here is my Canvas course. So just like before, we have a dashboard. So I can uh, switch between courses very easily by just pressing the drop down, and I can see all the courses that I have set up. Um, so I can go into the courses that I own as a teacher and also into the courses that I might be enrolled into. Uh, you can also swipe left and access any course that you want. Um, this is your home screen and your dashboard. So let's say that I wanted to go to, uh, let's just go into the Chromebook 101 course, or the Canvas 101 course. It's going to bring us to the front page of the course and gives us basically everything that we would see um, along the way. So here's the Welcome to Canvas 101 course, um, and then I can easily... Uh, slide through everything else. So here is the training, um, here are the pages that I use, and also announcements. If I want to go into the module screen, I can see, okay, welcome, Canvas introduction, front page. Then I can go into the Canvas 101 level one course. So the use of this app is actually very intuitive, um, and it's a very nice way uh, that you can navigate your apps, or I'm sorry, navigate the courses that you might be enrolled in uh, as a student and or as a teacher. So hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, you can, this is how you set up the mobile version of Canvas on your mobile device. Thanks for watching.